This was my second channel that was made for live casts. If y'all remember, this channel began as a live cast channel. Oh, this video is over here going to be your live casts. And over here on the live casts, we concentrated on watching this. And I was showing everybody how to predict quakes using this model. And it uh, turned out that this model is very accurate because, as you will see over here several thousand times, we hit these large quakes to the minute and the placing on the planet at what magnitude it would be using this model, watching the induction and the crunch on our atmosphere caused by these massive magnets surrounding us. We proved beyond the shadow of a doubt the model we were using is very accurate. Up here somewhere, Glenn got his kids in here and the grandchildren predicting quakes just as good as I could, and I decided at that point it's time to just stop doing the parlor tricks of fucking producing these quake predictions so accurately. I was like, all right, so we've proven that. Let's move along. Using the same map, same models, we realized that this is happening and this is happening. About a year and a half ago, started talking about it, how it's going to be doing nothing but getting stronger and more evident. Well, this here, my friends, is your ground level. As you can see, this is the lowest level on the ground as opposed to the higher levels. And this is stronger than the little hurricane down here. Well, as I had said very clearly, they're going to get stronger and bigger and more noticeable. Well, there you go. We also noticed that the trees were going hollow because of the microwaves in the air. And there you go. This is the United States. This is your world. Your world's on fire. Up in the Swiss Alps. This is October, folks. We have more fire here than we did all summer. It isn't getting any less. And your Schumann resonance, 7.83 hertz, has not been 7.83 hertz for some time. You can see the Schumann resonance is determined by a signal moving about the speed of light in Earth's atmosphere between the ionosphere and Earth, and it's got a little bounce trough here at the speed of light. 7.83 hertz. The only way to raise this frequency would be A, speed up the speed of light significantly, or shrink this bounce trough. Put the ionosphere under pressure from the outside by magnetic force and cause it to shrink. Which obviously, that's going on because the speed of light is still relatively the same. Again, obviously, there is something going on that you can physically track and see has been raising the frequency slowly a little more than yesterday. Just like the quakes, just like the weather, just like everything we've been looking at, the fires, and you think it's a coincidence that we're at war in Israel now. Huh. Prior to the Catholic Church, there was this thing called Bible Canon, which still exists today. The original stories, much like Gilgamesh and the story of the flood, Ishkapikin, the Mesopotamian tales that became Hebrew into the Bible, coordinated over here by an emperor named Constantine. And if you look at the Jesus cult, they swear, I do further promise to declare that I will, when opportunity presents, 
make and wage relentless war secretly or openly against all heretics, Protestants, and liberals, as I am directed to expire them from the fucking face of the earth. <laughs> And that I will spare neither age, sex, or condition. They talking about smashing in infant heads against the walls if mommy doesn't like Jeebus. Well, we've all seen the witch trials and we know about the Inquisition and all this stuff. And it's horrible, horrible history of the fucking Catholic Church. The Catholic Church still practices these things in... <laughs> Misleading the fucking planet and murdering those who don't go along with their little fucking narrative. That is the way Christianity was established in the planet, and that is the way it is withheld and held up against the fucking Muslims, who is the same fucking Abrahamic religion. These fucking people murder anybody that doesn't believe the way they do because it's a lie and it's an easily proven lie it is also a script that they call revelations and it's the all the hype and excitement they put into that script you would expect revelations to actually be something that people would recognize yet here we are World War One and World War Two, financed by the Pope, the people who wrote the fucking script. It was financed by the Pope on both sides. Hitler took his Nationalist Party and married the Zionist Party in in Germany and became the Nazi Party. The Zionist half of that party was in charge of the Hebrews, taking the wealth from them and giving it to Hitler. Hitler then took and gave it to the Queen as he was bombing the UK. Queen says, I don't care, he can take the UK as long as he honors the crown, funneling that money into Palestine. After World War II was over, the Crown Vatican, DC Corporation, funneled the ZI half of the Nazi party into Palestine as Jews as they wrote it in Revelation 6.6, 6, Israel will be occupied by Jews that are not Jews. Well, in fact, in the nightly news, you sit and watch the Hebrew people, the true Jews who lived there in peace for centuries, with little cardboard signs talking about down with Zionism. And you American people sit around wondering, well, why do they hate their own kind? because it's not their own kind. The Jesuit order, who wrote down these fucking horrid things, have seen the return of our sons several times. The Sumerians, by the canon, state clearly, they have the star alignments for the beginning of time to the end of time. Now they refer this to the end of time because they say this phenomenon called the voice of God is gonna speak. Reset everything to original design. They've been fearing this coming. The voice of God is when three sons converge and make a chord. One son singing a tone, three tones make a chord. Simple physics. We have s several indicators in our own rock strata that we have a cyclical nova event going off. In our real world, nobody can seem to figure out why. Well, that's because that's one of those secrets the Jesuits hide from you. If you pay attention to the cuneiform, Bible canon, original books before a emperor, Roman emperor, got their hands on it and twisted it into a fucking religion, when the sun and planet heaven near earth the axis will shift making the sky roll constantine turned that very descript verse into in the end of days the moon will become confounded well 
you kind of wonder who the hell was Constantine helping when you start looking at things like that and they start manipulating the script and start talking about how there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. There's always been wars and rumors of wars and famine and pestilence. However, we have never had a confounded moon, which we do now. They knew we lived in a free sun system when they started digging the bunkers. They knew they had to kill you to keep you out of their bunkers. So they make up this world opposition. Russia and China hate the US. It's a lie. They're all related. They're all playing a script out because they know we're going to have that Nova event with the three sons singing the voice of God. And they're terrified of it because they're not in the right frequency. You have the tool in your chest to make it through this, but you have to know the truth about what's going on instead of believing some kind of fucking lie put out by a Roman emperor and several different UK kings and imams in the fucking Middle East. This whole religion thing from the Hindu to the fucking Christians is all Anunnaki derivatives. You can find this in Bible canon. Now, if you want to know the original and true story, you'll read Bible canon. If not, continue being a Jeebus cultist. I don't really care. I'll show you in detail the famine they wrote into the script and the GMO genetically altering our crops to go hermaphroditic at one candlelight by Monsanto. Very specific. Knowing that when the red sun rises on the other side of Venus, this blue sun is going to be behind us. And they very descriptively say the crops of the land will fail when that happens. Well, guess what? That's where we're at. And the land's crops have been failing. It isn't a Ukraine war causing the grain shortage. India stopped exporting their rice. China has none to export or feed their people. The grains have been dying. Thus, the establishment has been humanitarianly killing off the food stock from time to time. And you'll have milk shortages and egg shortages and meat shortages because of it. It is definitely not the Ukraine war. They had to bring us into lockdown. Donald Trump himself signed over the Emergency Act. Remember, he's the one that gave the government the power they have to this day. He is the one that locked us down and forced through federal regulations a mandated product that is responsible for hundreds of millions of deaths around the planet. That is why he's going to court. He re realized he was a patsy, a fall guy, grabbed the fucking documents, tried to destroy them, and got busted. They are holding house hearings on the hundreds of millions of deaths. Folks, it isn't Bible prophecy coming true. It's them knowing what was coming and making it happen. The whole plan is to keep you ignorant of it until it's too late. It began with my moon doing cartwheels and I was a Navy trained guy that knew that it wasn't supposed to. And then I followed my homework right to a snake pit that the Jesuits made in the white temples of Toth where he rose up and flew over the oceans. If I was wrong, these things wouldn't have been found. We wouldn't have found Dick. We've been looking for this temple for centuries. Guess what? I found it because I did my fucking homework and I stopped looking at Bible canon as some kind of myth.
it's actually a real story. They derived the 